the what is this top eight all the entire the entire tournament i'm commentating the entire tournament oh we're right. starting uh koji versus Gardex. koji is this a plays great out. mass ruby player you are a jenny player what is the matchup of ruby jenny well generally ruby really wants to have like the range and to be closer to jenny while jenny you know, he, Ruby's a sword character, but he actually wants to be like closer to Jenny, just because Jenny has a little bit more range, and so it's not gonna do too well in the spacing game, but he still does decently. And uh, Ruby definitely gets hit by some of them for more like uh, situational combos, but Jenny, I mean, Ruby can definitely keep Jenny in the air for a really long time. One of Jenny's main weaknesses is that she has a little bit of a hard time landing, so let's see how Koji capitalizes on this. Oh, nice double up air. Gardex matching the up air. Oh, 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 holding. That's the oldest trick in the book. How could you fall for that? Are these all best of five, by the way? I think they're all best of three until uh, top four semis. I think. I don't oh, that's know what I'm is, I don't know if quarters is best of five. I don't remember from yesterday. Yesterday was uh, top six best of five. But that was like an 11 man bracket, so this will probably be a little bit different. This is a 10 man bracket. Oh, 10 man bracket? I thought it was 8 man. I mean, haven't One, checked. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, it's getting confirmed? Oh, missed a. That looks like a down tilt up smash, but. Uh, you know, Koji probably knows more than I do. Koji is nice playing chase. a really patient game. I've noticed that he is very rarely approached, and the moment Ooh, I say nice that he confirm. approaches and closes out his first stock. Alright, bet. Ooh, cool. Stream, if you guys didn't know, I just got information from the CEO of Slap City himself. All these matches are best of five. Yep, so we're gonna be we're in here for the long haul, baby. So are these players. They're gonna be it, it's gonna be a long one, but we're gonna have a lot of fun. The predictions of who will win, 98% to Gardex and 2% to Koji. Y'all gotta have a little more faith in the man, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell me, tell me how many fucking Jenny players know the fucking Ruby matchup, bro. That's the Not X a lot factor, of them. Literally, oh, who oh plays nice Ruby? ledge crap. That was good. Really smart who, bait with down Who beat. plays Ruby fruit? Please tell me. Husky. Koji. Dendi. But Dendi no, is playing the only, an, the only answer is Koji. Husky's a fraud. Really, yeah. Didn't even play Goddess when I challenged him to. And and Dendi don't play no more. Koji is single-handedly holding a Ruby game down, and Gardex just don't know what to do. Except oh, for we're getting that double up airs. Yeah, <laughs> the thing that beats Ruby, the up airs. Ruby is, as far as I know, is like an extremely light character, ain't he? Yeah, he's very. He's a second lightest character. Uh. A little bit heavier than Asha, and he's also sort of a fast faller, but also not as much as a fast faller. So he sort of has the same weaknesses to a lesser extent. So a lot of Ruby's game plan is just trying to win neutral as much as he can. But that's the thing: one minimize. missed move in the air, yeah, how light he is. Any up air at the top, like over fifty percent. At this percent, you could die right right here. Yeah, he's and at kill percent. Might. But Koji, Ooh. Ruby's got a lot of kill confirms up the sleeve. Let's see what Koji can do. I'm guessing he's fishing for a grab. Because he keeps doing that thing where he's poking in. I think he's trying to condition Gardex into shielding everything. So when he does go for the grab, it's just free. Easy money. Yeah, Ruby's got... Whenever there's platforms involved, Ruby can do some really... Can do a lot of things off there grab. There it is. Ooh. Oh, missing it. Good, good air dodge by spot. Gardex. I think he was trying to use that to his advantage, like the first stock, but it ended up not working that time. Does Burmy play? Does Burmy play this game? When's the last time you seen Burmy in bracket? And I'm asking because I've been missing for like a year. This is like a legitimate question. It's not me being smart. Oh, and the Rock Ward is going to take it. He's going fishing a little too much for those uh, fourth smashes. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just knowledge, it's data. First round is always data. Gardex knows what fucking Koji's about, and then Koji knows what Gardex is about. 
So the second round is really where it's at. And now that it's all best of five. Yeah, there's a lot of time to adapt. Like, Koji could uh, really just turn the set on his head. But he's got to do not. Look at Gardex's profile picture. This this young individual. Playtime is ogre. Playtime play yep. is ogre. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know this what's going to happen. This is not a game. This is war. Oh, this they're going to life. open air. This is open real life. Museum. Oh, yeah, there's actually two uh, EU rubies. There's Koji, and then there's uh, Go Easy, Stefan. Oh, I love Go Easy. He, okay, he said if I'm commentating any tournament, he's going to play Goddess just for me. So if he's in this bracket right now and he's not playing Goddess, I got to say, a little disappointed. I don't think he is. Yeah, he's Ruby he and Goddess, but he plays enough for me, yeah, I'd consider him. Anyway, uh, pretty even game so far. Gardas, Goddard's going for the double up air, but that's barely out of reach. Ooh, just barely. I like these neutral attempts. Yeah. These, these random smash attacks are getting really scary because one thing I noticed about Ruby is that they come out real fast. You do not expect that. It looks like a normal. Tell me the difference between his forward tilt. Not his forward tilt. What's it called? His down smash and his forward smash. Besides the little tippy, tippy he does at the start, nothing. And they're all really scary. Just yeah. like that quarter. Well, there is a little bit spot. of a there's a little bit of a difference. Like he'll kind of reel back a little bit as he's charging a down smash, but yeah, yeah, like the, in the, the moment, like I don't know what the word for it was. So I just called it a tippy, <laughs> a dippy. Gardex is kind of giving this man the work. He's kind of giving him a wall. You know what I'm saying? Koji's going for these pokes, but Gardex is playing at that pace where like either he's deciding the fight or he's not letting Koji decide the fight. It's either or. When Gardex isn't going in, he's not letting Koji go in. And that's the scariest part. Because, like, you get hit by anything, like we said last time. Up to up you're air? at the percent. I thought he was going to close it out with that up air. But, yeah, you're at that percent where any, like, stray move could get you killed. Because you're light as hell and you're ruby. Yeah, it really it, A lot of it is just, like, an upward battle. But the main, main thing that ruby does in this matchup is that it just keeps uh, Jenny from landing like that. So the up B has a lot of speed out of the free fall. Ooh, nice combo. Ooh, I close. love that with the up B. What's going to kill it but the nice damage? I think up B does like 12 damage. So it's just nice to tack it on for free. We need Sipping a patch that lets Ruby's up B kill off the top. Sit on the side. Uh, give it I, don't, to him. I don't know if we need like Bayonetta in this game, honestly. I think it's worth it because like, I don't know. You're not going to take a lot of characters at the top of the screen. Well, he already does that, just with the, like, the side piece stuff instead. Yeah. But it's a little I mean, harder like, to do. It'd be a little harder to do than like the up B. Rem so it would uh, definitely be interesting. Yeah, it'd be like a little harder to do Fish can kill like, off the top real easily. Jenny especially. Yeah, why not? Ruby as well. It can't only be grab setups or, you know what I'm saying, or just like random yeah. long-ass combos. He's got to get some. I feel like that would spark just a slightly, a slight spark interest. In oh, you know, maybe, maybe so Jenny many will big, come back. so many big aerials by Gardex. Just a lot of things. Fair is like really big, so even though Ruby has all these uh, recovery mix-ups, Fair often like just covers so much of it that, like, unless you really know what you're doing off stage, then you're gonna be really susceptible to it. Gardex, Gardex is, is just kind of beasting out on the side of the stage. Yeah. Like, that's Koji why Koji just can't get the kill the right middle. now. He needs that grab. I feel a like grab would be really good. A tip or a up air, a raw smash. Oh, I feel like it's not even worth trying to go for anything other than a grab. Just do it in the safest way possible. Because right now you're playing Oh, there we go. Food. There's a tip or up air. Well, if they're more aerial than a tip or aerial, you should go for that. Because Ruby's aerials are generally really safe. Oh, nice neutral B. Neutral B, an excellent shield poking tool. It has a lot of hit stun. And like a lot of other move, Ruby's moves that don't have too much hit stun, neutral B has a ton of hit stun, so it confirms into a lot of different moves. Even in smash attacks, if you're in the right position for it. See, I perfectly believe that Koji has the ability to close up this next stock and even up the game. It's just a matter of getting that one combo in. And when you make mistakes like that and get caught up with the up air, you're kind of just risking this game right now. Yeah, you don't want to... At this rate, you don't want to make mistakes. The up 
oh, can't really afford it right now. God. These random up toasts off the ground is like actually making me like scared right now because Gardex is playing pretty. He's kind of reading this man like a, like a book, like a children's book. He, he's oh, OG right now is a Junie B. Jones novel right now with these like recoveries and getting back on stage. And Gardex is definitely calling that out. Good play from him. Koji's not dying though. Koji refuses to die. He's getting hit, but he's not dying. That's the most important part. We can't really risk getting hit right now. There we go. Yeah, one more up air or fair to take it easily, or even a grab by Gardex. Which you haven't seen too many of. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Ooh, he tried to be a hero. But Koji's still alive! He's still alive at 150%. There we go. There we go. That was Going for the raw up air, so it makes sense. Oh, yeah. and uh, that trade will take it. You can't take trades there. Really, really big gap actually closed out by Koji. So maybe he's learning some more. Again, it's yeah, best that five. was a lot better than the last game, I wouldn't say. And if you look in the uh, the results screen, the damage is almost even between the two players. So it's just a matter of trying to get those kills as, as soon as you can. Maybe even goes for something spicy off stage, like a down B. Low key, like, I, I don't know. know. Just... I would not risk that because you've seen a way Gardex has been playing off the side of the stage. You go for a down B, you're gonna get caught with a forward air, you know what I mean? Like, or even a down air, that's like the scariest part. You just immediately get the bottom of the stage because Jenny whipped out the skateboard. The space, well, yeah, not while you're recovering, while uh, while Gardex is recovering, that's what I'm saying. Try to go maybe go for an edge guard or keep on at the ledge at least. I don't know, it's so hard to confirm kills Ooh. off of Ruby sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> There's, there's that copyright right there, sometimes. That was really good from Gardex. Keeping yeah, there's always the outliers. Like this, bro. Man, I love Space North. This stage makes me so mad. But I do believe that this is a pretty decent stage, all things considered, because there's a lot of platforms. That gives Ruby a lot of space. Gives him a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, I think this is a good pick jumps. for uh, Koji. But it's also a really good pick for Jenny, so... I agree, especially since the way that Gyrodex is playing, that side of the stage is where all the platforms are. Koji has been playing in the middle the whole time, so he's got to switch up how he plays the game. He wants to approach these platforms properly. And that Ooh. is not the way to do it. We got to keep them combos going. Koji is kind of going in, though. I won't lie. Like, he's down a stock, but he's definitely going for more dangerous stuff, and it is working out. There we go. Up oh, there's a down arrow up smash. Like Not necessarily an even plastic. game yet, but the stocks are even. And with the way Ruby works, I don't Ooh. doubt that this man can get to 105% that easy. Yeah, just one solid combo is all uh, Koji really needs right now. Neutral B is real good. Oh my god. Yeah, you can like hold it for like almost... Not however long you want, but for such a long time. There's like so much control you have over it. It's another really good thing about Neutral B. Oh, up till up air, that's gonna be a stock, especially if no DI. Scary. Okay, Koji caught in that air. Oh! Catching the air guard. Air guard? What is it called? Air dodge. Yeah, the air dodge. I feel like. Koji's just keeping uh, uh, Gardex in the air right now. But in this game, it is so easy to punish like a really sour air dodge, a really bad roll, a really bad spot dodge. But even then, like, it seems that way, but it is, it goes by so quick. So, like, it takes, like, a really good player to oh. notice that and catch them in, when they're that close. 192 and still not dead. That was a, a pretty stylish thing, chain he did, though. Koji can close it up. We're gonna get it right now. Oh, boy. The skate, oh, the skateboard coming Oh, there we go, it. finally. And the raw forest smash game is pretty much even at this point. I feel like Koji definitely downloaded those Ooh. first two games, and now he's he, he's here to play. This man is here to go all day. I'm just safely trying to space those aerials around Jenny, holding the power shield but drifting away from the neutral B. Neutral B being uh, such a great shield pressure tool. Oh, I like that con uh, conversion of the tech chase. That was really smart by Koji. There we go. Koji's definitely oh. getting away with them grabs now. Before he was just poking a shield, but I feel like Gardex has kind of been programmed yeah, to only hold shield Ooh. now. 
Oh, really Either nice. Ruby's really light or that the eye was a uh, suspect. Gardex, only one stock away from taking this set. Let's see what he can do, but Ooh, never count Koji not. out. Oh, there's never. the force smash. Not quite killing, but really good positioning for him. This is a good spot. I feel like you... Like one mistake. I feel like the stage, like, since Jenny could land on a top platform, you're not gonna get too many kills off of, like, bad landings with the upbeats. I don't know, oh, this but there's specifically, some... Koji has been pretty immaculate at chasing uh, bad recoveries, bad air dodges. Yeah, he's I think he's kind of kinda stuck right on now. the platforms. This man's oh, a shooter. Uppers. Oh, just like that, Koji's in a lead. Can't be get hit by those rough skateboards. That's a scary part. One skateboard oh. is like a Ford or something, and it's over. Koji's at that percent. Any raw smash attack could definitely take this game. Like an up tilt forward in smash. Or, yeah, Koji could definitely, uh, they're both definitely at kill percent here. Koji a little less so, but, you know, Jenny's Koji's Jenny. Koji's being smart by playing in the middle of the stage, because it gives Jenny only option is up air. Oh, and the triple and up air not, can't that, get that away from that. That is the option that will work. That is going to be the game. Good stuff to both of those players. Koji's showing us how Ruby plays. That was really exciting to watch.